Shalom and welcome to a fresh series of Living Supernaturally, a time where we look into God's Word together. In this series ahead this week, we're going to be looking at how we can pray scripture, praying scripture. Have you ever sometimes felt at a loss on what to pray? Sometimes you're so overwhelmed, you don't know what to pray. And when we look into the Bible, we see every page, almost every page, there is a plea, there is a prayer, there is a petition that is given out to the Lord. So when you feel you just don't have the words to pray, I'll encourage you to turn to scripture. There are hundreds of prayers in the Bible, but we will focus on a few in our devotionals going ahead this week. We're going to be looking this today at the prayer of repentance. David penned many psalms and many of them describes his prayers and his pleas to God. And we see that through every emotion, he found comfort in God. One among the many that he's written is found in Psalm 51. And that is based on an incident that is recorded in 2 Samuel chapters 11 and 12. The psalm was written by David when he was at the pinnacle of his reign as king of Israel. Now, in a nutshell, the a background for the psalm is David, who was a king, a married man, was um, on the roof of his palace and saw Bathsheba bathing. Uh, though Bathsheba was married herself, David desired her. And because he was the king, he took her. And when Bathsheba became pregnant, he arranged the murder of her husband Uriah so that he could take her as his wife. After these events, David was confronted by the prophet Nathan, who um, told him about his sin. And that's when David comes to his sins and comes to uh, his senses and recognizes the, his error. And David writes this psalm, Psalm 51, to repent of his sin and beg for God's forgiveness. This confession of David is known as the model of repentance. Have you ever been overwhelmed by your own sin? Or have you been so severely distraught that you feel that there isn't a way that you can keep on going? Some Very often sin can make us feel so unlovable. David realized what every believer seeking forgiveness must realize that although his sin was against Bathsheba and Uriah, mostly his ultimate transgression was against God and the Holy Law. When we sin, it is important for us to remember that our sins, our transgressions, are ultimately against God. I can think of two good reasons for why we can meditate on this idea. The first is that we don't want to act as if our sin has to do only with people. It affects our personal relationship with God. When we sin, sin comes in between us until we reconcile with God. And we do this by asking forgiveness, by, by repenting of our sins. We also know that God is faithful and he is just to forgive us our sins. And we are able to move past our sin because of what he did for us on the cross. So let's pray this psalm together. As I pray from Psalm 51 verses 1 to 3 and then from 10 to 12, you could follow along uh, the verses displayed if you are watching this on video or open to your Bibles if this is an audio version you are listening to. So let's pray together from Scripture. Have mercy upon me, O God, according to your loving kindness, 
according to the multitude of your tender mercies, blot out my transgressions. Wash me thoroughly from my iniquity and cleanse me from my sin. For I acknowledge my transgressions and my sin is always before me. Against you, you only have I sinned and done this evil in your sight. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a steadfast spirit within me. Do not cast me away from your presence, and do not take your Holy Spirit from me. Restore to me the joy of your salvation, and uphold me by your generous spirit. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.